this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to do an easy design, kind of uh, Black Eyed Susan inspired design. Not a typical with the colors that I'm using, but anyways, that's the inspiration that I've gotten from it, or that I'm actually going for. And I will be painting that on this glass bottle, glass wine bottle. I am going to be using a couple flat brushes, a number 8 and a number 10, or, yeah, number 10, plaid one-stroke brushes, a number 1 liner, also a plaid one-stroke brush, using Burt Sienna, Fresh Foliage, Hunter Green, Moon Yellow, Licorice, and yellow ochre. I have cleaned the bottle off. This is the bottle that I use for my videos, so I clean it off. I'm not too worried about the paint adhering to it because I'm going to just wipe it off to do another video. If you're doing these, please make sure you do wash with soap and water and then do rubbing alcohol over it to make sure you've gotten off all the oils, anything that uh, could cause the paint not to adhere nicely to the bottle or to the glass. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I am using, and unfortunately I had gotten some water on my plate, so my moon yellow is a little runny looking, but that's okay. I am basically just going to be using the burnt sienna, touching my brush into the wicker, or not the wicker, but the um, yellow ochre, sorry, lost my train of thought there, and then tapping it into the moon yellow. So I'm not really doing an actual one stroke, really, but anyhow, just kind of a mixture. I am going to do some smaller designs at the top, and I'm basically just using the chisel edge, holding my brush to the side, and then just putting down and pulling, pushing and pulling. And then I'll just keep doing that. Pushing and pulling. And you can do with this type of a design on this part, you can do four petals, three petals, five petals. Doesn't really matter. I am going to be using probably just five little petals and then I'm going to do another one that's very similar and if you wanted to do straight, but I try to do some straight and then some that I pull over towards the center because basically I will be tapping in a center so I want these to be kind of going that direction so they make sense I hope that makes sense what I just said. And two, just going over what I normally like to teach is that the thicker your paint when you're doing glass work, the more durable it's going to be. You just have to be careful it's not too thick so when you bake it that it doesn't actually bubble because that can happen too. Now in this next one, we're going to be looking at it as if it were the back side of the flower so it's not going to have any center uh, painted into it. And again if you feel like when you're doing this you need to go over your petals again feel free to do so. That's only going to make them a little bit thicker and more durable. Alright so then I'm going to come down the bottle and do another one. Just going to kind of pull it, give some uh, curve to the petals. Very easy. My designs are very easy and intentionally so. I want you to feel comfortable painting and not afraid to give it a try. That's what I'm, I really, really, really 
you know, there's a lot of people that paint, and I'll look at their paint, think, or their designs, and think, gosh, they're beautiful. But I'm so intimidated by them that I'm not comfortable painting them. And I don't want you to feel that way. I really don't. And glass painting is so forgiving because, you know, really, if you, it's easy to clean up a mistake if you, if you make one. If you don't like the design that you've created, it's easy just to clean the glass off and where you go. Start again. Easy, easy, easy. And then my last little known one I'm going to do down here. Again, you can make your petals going in different directions just to give them some movement. You can make them longer, you can make them shorter, you can vary the, the size of them as you're going because they don't all have to be the same size or if you feel like you need to make them the same size then, then make them the same size. Pretty simple. All right, one other brush I forgot to mention. I'm using a number eight Deerfoot stippler, and I will be using the licorice as the centers. So I'm going to come up here at the top, and I really do find these to be some of my favorite brushes to use for centers. They're so easy to use, and I want it to be more of a rounded shape center can come up away from the flower. And I just try to round it out a little bit. They don't have to be big. You can make them smaller if you wish. Totally, totally your preference. But I think they're cute. Cute little centers. I'm going to do the center here. For the only one that's an opened flower. And then last but not least, do the one down at the bottom here. Now if you notice too, I am just doing this design on the front of the bottle. If I were painting this to sell, yes, I would paint the design all the way around the bottle. If I'm using it as a lighted bottle, then I would put, you know, lights on it so I'd want the whole thing to be lit up, or the whole thing to be painted, so when it lights up, it's it's very pretty. So I did put a little bit of the moon yellow at the back side of this brush, and what I'm going to do is just, like I do on a lot of them, of my designs, is just tap in a little bit of this yellow towards the bottom. Oops, sorry. Sorry for the clanging. I'm sorry, I keep sticking to my tissue paper. I'm not being real precise with this. You don't really have to. Like I said, and it is kind of watered down, which you would not want water in gloss paint. So that would be a big no-no if that happens. You definitely need to start, get some clean paint and start over. But because I'm not actually using this and baking it, I am not going to change it. It's fine. Okay, and then what you can do is kind of tap that off, dip back into your licorice, and then go back over and just kind of blend it a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. And then here we go. Alright, so we got those in. Again, like I said, this is meant to be a very, very easy design. I'm going to take my liner brush, stick it into the Hunter Green, and first thing I'm going to do is come over here because I need to build my little stem here, my little top to attach. If you don't want to put a stem in and do it like this is a boat, as a, um, I won't say bouquet, but uh, that they're coming off the stems and you just want to do leaves around them. That's perfectly fine, but I am building this as if it's 
uh, all these flowers are coming off of a stem. All right, so I'm using my little line, liner, the number one liner, and then just putting my stems in. And again, if you don't want to do stems because you're doing it on the bottle, and you just want to do leaves around your flowers and fill it in that way, that's perfectly fine. I just like to have, have the stems coming down and attaching the blooms to the stems. Of course, you can use one stem and make it like they're all attached to the same, you know, more like a branch. That's fine too. Okay, so let's go here. I'm going to pull this down through here. Pull it down around and just come down. You can have them going in different directions to show some movement. You can make it like they're a bouquet. I'm not making it like they're a bouquet where they would, the stems would be bunched up. Not doing that with this, but you could. You can just make the line straight or squiggly. You just show movement. Now with these little flowers. I can just do a short little stem, you know, which in reality it would be a longer stem if, you know, in real life it wouldn't be this short. But it's just a painting, so keep that in mind. <laughs> just a painting. And I do like to just to add some a couple different colors. You could even throw some white in here if you wanted. Just again, keeping in mind, the thicker you make it, the more durable it will be. So for a few little leaves that I'm going to be putting in here, I am doing the hunter green, the fresh foliage, dipping it into the moon yellow and the burnt sienna. And they're just going to be real simple, very, very simple leaves. And that's intentional. And then just doing it. I can, you know, I like the different colors in it. It's not two colors, it's actually four. make it fun I think and then just keep going I'm not putting a ton of leaves into this piece of work like I, I typically would I know my work you know I like my leaves well, this is just supposed to be more of a modest less is more kind of deal here And you just kind of look look at it and just vary the leaves from one branch to the other or one stem to the other, going in different directions and just keeping it minimal. And I like the different colors. Kind of as a pretty would be a pretty fall fall design really. And let me see, I could even do a little more here. Probably put more in than I intended. That's okay. Very pretty. Just a quick and easy. And if you wanted to throw in some more you know, flowers, colors, that type of thing, you certainly could. Again, I'm just keeping it very minimal. And that's the intention for me from the design itself. That's how I wanted it to be. But there's a lot of things you could add to it if you wanted to. Alright, I think it's pretty. Hope you do too. If you like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I'm posting something new. And if you would please, before you leave my video, Hit the share button you'll see underneath. Share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would appreciate that greatly. And until the next time, you have a good one.